Hey, Pisces, it's me, Alex. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. Ah, hopesies, y'all are doing quite fine, quite fine. Let's see what the universe has for you. Uh-oh, Emperor. Who are you about to give the business to? Having serious conversations. What are we talking about? Oh, somebody just sh showed back up in your life after maybe ghosting you. Is this fool trying to profess they love for you, Pisces? Hold on. Hold on. Three of Wands. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I don't want to take those because I know those are from the Cancer reading. So I need to shuffle these cards. Um, Yes, you're waiting on somebody's return. No, angels are saying you're not waiting on their return because they've already shown up. You waiting for this fool to, to you know give you a reason to continue dealing with their asses. Okay, well, that was quick. This person doesn't know how to communicate their feelings for you. Not only that, but they don't know how to appreciate you, Pisces. That's I get that from right here. And you putting your foot down, all five toes and the pinky. I feel like this has been going off and, this has been off and on for three months or since March. Yeah, three months ago was March. Um, They come in and they talk a good game. I'm going to do it this time. And then, then they don't show up. Basically, talk is cheap with this person. Now, here's the thing. Here's why they keep doing this, because they just want to maintain access to you, right? They may be also coming back to for you to fill their cup, you know, motivate them and feed their ego and oh I still love you but you know I love you but and then it's almost like when you give them that then the communication is watered down it dies down don't fall and then they leave you high and dry uh-uh ace of swords yeah ace of swords with the emperor shit y'all about to have a serious conversation with this person the double emperor mm okay all right i'm just saying yeah you're waiting to see if the if they will reciprocate love i'm also hearing that you're looking for them to confess profess tell the truth about something Ooh. oh i just heard there was another woman you want to talk about who this feminine fire energy was this is Aries this is Aries that's Aries oh angel oh oh okay the scenario that they're giving me is almost like you and this person might have been dealing at one point and then they ghosted you and started dealing with someone else they thought the grass was greener on the other side and that fell apart. Now they're kind of quote unquote running back to you, wanting like redemption or trying to redeem themselves. But is this person gonna stick around? I have two nights here. You're waiting to see exactly that. Are they going to redeem themselves? Pisces says, that makes you and I both, Alex. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if this job time turkey is gonna live up to what they say. And, and I feel like they're swearing up and down. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to leave you, Charles. They're, your love, you love them like no other. You empower them. You you um feed them. You give them life. You make them relevant. And whomever you're dealing with, they're incredibly shallow. I will tell you that. Because not only that, with the Page of Swords and a Star card, I feel like they chase money or they chase, like they have trophy people, as in people who are really cute, Instagram models, you know, male and female. It's almost like they're motivated by the glitz and the glam. Mm. Mm -mm. That's also who they might have left you for. That Queen of Wands is a hot piece of ass right there. I'm also hearing whoever this is for you, uh, Pisces, they, 
they're used to you being there, right? You got the nine of cups here. That's emotional fulfillment. And you're stable, right? Financially, like you're, you're reliable. You're always there for them. Even if you curse them out, you still pick up the phone. Angel said, how do we make this person work towards you? They told me to tell you to treat them like a circus act. And what that means is it's almost like when you're training an animal specifically, whenever that animal does something good, you reward them, right? So it's almost like when this person does something good, then you give the love. If they coming in being a child, acting stupid, you know, um, just thinking that you're going to reward bad behavior, no, they don't get nothing. I, and, and if I were you, I wouldn't even talk to them. You know, as in, they're coming back in, oh, hey, you know, I want to give us another shot. Well, I'm open to that. And then I personally wouldn't call them. I would allow them to continuously call me, right? Because again, if they left you for somebody else, oh, baby, you got to prove that the sun exists. And it's almost like, go on and fly up there and touch it. And if you get burnt up, then I'll believe you, right? It's, and and it's it sounds cruel, but it's almost like you have to put this person through the ringer. And if you don't, angels are saying they're going to keep doing this. That's why the emperor is here twice, because the emperor is seri serious as hell. With the ace of swords, come on. Are you kidding me? Forget ultimatum. This is like judge, jury, executioner. Um, all of them rolled up in one. You're serious. You want them to be serious. You want, you want to hear them again, confess, profess. I'm not going to do this to you again. And I really do feel like they, they, um, angels are saying, do not reward them with sex. Take it as it resonates. But I also kind of feel like for those of you, they come back in, they talk a good game. They make all these plans. And you get all passionate, hot and bothered. Y'all may have some sex and then they run away again. And then you feel stupid. Like, yo, why did I do that to myself? Why didn't I listen to my intuition? Why did I, you know what I mean? That emperor is kind of pretty hard on you and saying you were in your power. This person came in, you know, twisted you around and reversed the power dynamic. Now to an extent they have all the power. And then what did they do? They run off. Angels just also said to me too, this person has issues living up to your standards. You're the queen of pentacles. You are dealing with either a page of swords. I thought they were a couple of pages. You're, yeah, it could be, this is Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Either a page or a knight of swords who all they have is their gift of gab, their, you know, supposed intentions, their, you know, this is what I'm going to do. This is, you know, I love you. You may say you love me, but do you freaking show me? five of swords hell no nah. um angels just said to me you are the kitten caboodle in this um pisces because you're financially stable you got a great head on your shoulders incredible heart you need to start standing in your power being honest and truthful with this person like you better get your shit together you better grow grow the hell up stop being so damn immature if you want to be with me after we have sex you're not going to go m.i.a right you need to heal you know what i mean you need to stop chasing these dreams or being a dreamer and being more practical i feel like this is a personal reading for somebody whose reading is this pisces and now with the the three of wands with the um the uh knight of cups you're you could again give this person or have given this person three months to get their ish right angels just said to me notice you got queens here but no king that kind of says to me that if you are a Pisces and you are in your feminine energy, and no, sorry, I have to reverse that. Angels are saying you are you are the masculine, regardless of gender. Energy is genderless. I feel like you are the divine masculine because you are the one who is stable and the provider. Your person is the divine feminine, right? And they're intimidated by who you are. It gets up under their skin. They get in their feelings and they want to be up under you. Angels are also saying too, there are codependency issues here. It's almost like that. I don't want to get too close. So then they bolt. Oh my God. The way that they manage their codependency is to leave. 
you got to get rid of this situation, Pisces. Um, whether you're going to take them back and hold their feet to the fire and, you know, kind of quote unquote discipline them, be that emperor, or you got to let this person go. Because as soon as that Eight of Swords showed up, I heard round and round, merry go round. Is it a karmic? I don't know. You have justice. Yeah. And look, justice is basically saying, listen, Pisces, you got to. You got to figure this out because we ain't going to keep getting dizzy. King of Cups, that's Scorpio. Oh, you're wanting this person to be something they're not. You're wanting them to be your King of Cups, but they keep showing up as the Page and the Knight of Swords. I feel like they're t saying to you and promising you, hey, I could be your King of Cups. And you keep believing them. Definition of insanity. Yeah. Eight of Wands, my crunchy Eight of Wands. I feel like there's my divine partnership too. King of Cups and Queen of Pentacles, one of three. I feel like in all honesty, Pisces, by August, if this person hasn't got near-ish together, you need to be, you need to get the hell on. Because I do kind of feel like also at the same time, yeah, look at that. Four of Cups. You could be blocking off this King of Cups from coming in. King of Cups from coming in. And, and just as I said that, Ace of Cups showed up. Yeah, it's almost like this person is running interference. You have Eight of Swords. They're on your mind. Angels are saying you you guys have history together, right? But it's almost like if, if you're not going to show up for me, get the hell out of the way so the next person can, can come in and love me how I need to be loved. Angels also said too, in August, you're going to meet a divine, a divine partner. I don't feel like it's this person who's in and out. I don't feel like it's them. I feel like it's somebody brand new and totally new. Not only that, but when you do meet them, you ain't going to be thinking about love or you may bump into them. You may not see them. It's almost like you're going to be ignoring or in another state of mind, other state of mind versus meeting somebody. In other words, you're not going to be expecting to meet anybody. And there's a new love and it's reciprocal love and angels are saying within the next three months. So we're in June, July, August, September. So that makes sense because the end of August is the beginning of September. You have new love coming in. You have the Alpha and Omega. The only thing you got to do, Pisces, is get this person out your ear. Get that Gemini out of your ear, out of your energy space and move it on. Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Aries, Scorpio. Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces. All right, Pisces. I love you guys. If it does, if the reading does res resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye, Pisces.